Hello, welcome to Million Labs. Today we thought we would ask Simon about methods for positioning elements on the page. Simon, what options do we have for positioning elements on the page? You can control the position of a visual element by either dragging it and dropping it, by moving the cursor. So once it's highlighted and you've got the little squares around it, I can I'm pressing my cursor on my keyboard so you can see it's moving across. That's a nice way of getting it left or right, a couple of pixels, etc. Or you've got the width, the height, the X, so left to right. If I want it to be far on the left-hand side, I'd put that to zero. And if I wanted it to be at the top, I'd put the Y to zero. There you go. So that does the X and Y. So if you know exactly where you want it on the screen, you can actually use the X and Y to get it to where you need it to be. And as you become more proficient, that will become more of a thing is you know that, oh, that needs to be a 20 pixels gap between that input and that input. And therefore, I will just move this. This next box will be at 220 because it will sit below it. So you can start to get proficient with that rather than trying to do this, which is like, oh, I can't. Is that over it or is it under it? It's got, it can be quite difficult to do that. Simon, thanks. Now you understand your options for positioning elements on the page. Congrats.